Hey guys, welcome back to my new channel. Not welcome back, just welcome to my new channel. It's called Catermelon Scratch, and in this channel, we're going to be doing all sorts of scratch tutorials. And for our first tutorial, we are going to be doing how to get an Undertale battle. Oh, Undertale battle in Scratch. Let's get started. So, to start off, we're going to need you know, a normal Undertale backdrop. And since I'm too lazy to draw the green lines that are going in the backdrop, I'm going to convert it to bitmap so we can make this whole place black. So I'm going to set it to um, black. And yeah. So yeah, the entire background is back black now, which is good. And now, first first things first, after we made the thing black, we need to get um, a picture of an Undertale red soul, because that's going to be the color we're using. But we're going to have two sprites for the soul, the one in the menu and the one that's moving. But like for this first one, we're just going to be doing the one in the menu, because this screen recorder can only be 10 minutes at max. And so this is going to be like the first part to this series. Let's Undertale panel, full screen. Import our first sprite. My account's Catermelon, and I made this YouTube channel for my account. Hopefully, I will get... I'm one follower away from 50 followers, so I'll link my account in the description below, and it'll be up to you if you want um, to follow me or not. You know, nothing, like, forced, obviously, because, like... Okay, you know what? If this, this is not good, we need to make sure that it's all red. So let's just, no, we need to, mm, this is a bit annoying. You should maybe use a different picture to avoid this hassle that I'm having to go through right now. Oh God, I'm gonna undo all that so we can get the white background. Uh, okay, I'll get a different picture. How about this? This doesn't work. I don't know. I'm going to be annoyed because I already don't want to have technical difficulties on my first video. So let's... What? Let's grab this new picture of an Undertale soul that I just snagged from the internet. And since it's black, it doesn't really matter because it'll blend in with the environment. Yeah. So let's shrink this bad boy. I think it'll be better if we shrink it in the sprite. Oh no, that won't be better. Let's first of all set it to vector so it will be easier to shrink. And let's put this in the middle. We don't want it to be that big, so let's set the size to the point. Ooh, too small. 50. Perfect, that's actually the perfect size for an Undertale soul. Gotta save, can't forget to save. So now with this soul, we need to create multiple variables. For the first variable though, we need a variable for act, so we need to know when it's time for us to like be in the white box where we dodge and stuff, and it's time for us to be in the menu where we act and stuff. So let's go get our four um, buttons. So let's get menu Undertale menu buttons and hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's get these. And yeah. So we're going to turn these into four different sprites. But um, yeah, we need to copy and paste each one. So first, let's make the fight button. You got to perfectly cut this. So we need to get this bad boy smack in the middle. Let's add this because I don't want it getting in the way. And let's, that's a really big fight button. I, but I think, yeah, I think it's good. Let's put that there. And also, let's make a second sprite for the fight button. I'm too lazy to change the whole color of it. And also, it would just be very difficult so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go to bitmap and okay what 
No, I'm going to convert to bitmap and color black over this fight. So that way when the heart's on it, it will, um, it's like, when the heart's on it, it will, the sword will disappear, which makes room for the heart to be. That's good. So let's do the same thing for the act mercy button. This is going to be a multi-part series because my screen recorder can only record so much. If you're a fan of Undertale, you know, just comment that down below because, you know, that would be neat for me to know. I want to see where my under my fellow Undertale fans out there are at. Let's line this up. I've made Undertale fan games before, but they're a little bit more rough. Like, make sure this all works out. Make sure there's enough room. So I'm going to be annoyed if there's not. I'm going to have to adjust the size. Let's get um a mercy button. You know, let's get item first. Still gonna need to perfectly cut this. If you hear any back um noise in the background, that's my family. But you know, that's let's move this item button over here. I want to try to line it up good. Well. Oh, there's not enough room. That hurts. Let's set the size of this to eight. Oh, no, not zero. Eighty. Ah, that doesn't fit. This bothers me. Ninety. And ninety. Okay. It, it was. It looked better when it was when it was bigger. I'm annoyed that that this has to be so tedious. This process, you know what? Whatever it takes. It was so perfectly and beautifully aligned. I'm gonna polish this a bit. It bothers me so much that okay, okay, okay. I need to stop being like so detail focused, detail oriented. Let's get the mercy button. Okay, we also need to set the size to 90. And, come on, please fit. I want to make sure they're all at the same Y. No. They all have like their own position. Nope. That was where he off. Need to polish this. Nope. I'm sorry for being so detail oriented again. It's... There we go. Okay, okay. I'll stop being so OCD now. Let's show off the code for this. So we're just going to go in blue flag. It clicked right now, but we'll fix this later. And we need to set a variable to which button we're on. So let's go menu location. And let's hide that variable for now. When green flag clicked, forever. We're going to need a lot of ifs here. We're going to need like six. I've done stuff like this, except this is going to be my most polished game so far. Forever if menu location equals. Um, wait. Okay, we need. Let's set this to. Oh, come on. You're seriously going to do this to me? I'm just they, they know how OCD I am. They know how much it bothers me. Okay, so yeah, forever. Let's have the perfect location for the heart to be right there. Okay, 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 okay. Forever. Yeah. Dad. Yes. No, you're not supposed to talk in the video. I'm sorry, guys. That's just my dad. Anyway, so forever. If um. Look, if x position equals 
this is going to be a bit of a 